Today I looked up how long it would take to drown. Today I looked up how long it would take to drown. How long can you hold your breath before you can't hold your breath any longer? And how long until your lungs give out and the sound that used to fill the void quiets like a mouse at midnight, searching for its piece of the pie? Today I stood in front of a window and imagined what it would be like to fly. No, I didn't. I imagined what it would be like to jump outside the frame that caged me inside. But my better judgment said it wouldn't be very kind if someone who cared about found you. That's the voice that plays like a tape on rewind. 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 It wouldn't be fair to a stranger either. Today I'm reminded of the time I watched a man jump into a highway when I was just 17. The car lights on either side of the upper portion of the auto route below standing at attention, staring off into the distance, just waiting for the road to clear and the way to the comfort of their loved ones to be made. Death is a strange and hollow inconvenience when you think about it. There's a blank face that quickly and abruptly finds its way to all who witness something of that magnitude. It's not empathy, it's not sympathy, it's more of a forced, intrinsic, and integral self-reflection. Why would someone do such a thing? What could drive someone to that type of depth? Could I be driven to such depths? Would I ever be able to jump? There is no place to be soft in these moments, jump. There's no time to be caught in this moment, jump. There's no need to believe there ever was a moment. Jump, sigh, believe, relief in this moment. Cause I could never be the one to be in this moment. Or could I jump? Today I looked up how long it would take to drown. Do you first hold your breath? Do you exhale all of your problems and worries before casting your thoughts to the bottom of an otherwise empty place below the poverty line of depressed thoughts and the sad calamity of a haunted house you've called home? I don't know. Maybe someone out there has an answer. But for now, I'm still trying to come to terms with the fact that today I looked up how long it would take to drown. Today I looked up how long it would take to drown. Today I looked up how long it would take to drown. How long can you hold your breath before you can hold your breath any longer? And how long until your lungs give out and the sound you used to fill the void? E quanto ci vorrà prima che i tuoi polmoni cedano e il suono che riempiva il vuoto? Today I stood in front of the window and I imagined what it would be like to fly. No, I didn't. Oggi mi sono fermato davanti a una finestra. Immaginavo come sarebbe stato volare. No, non l'ho fatto. I imagined what it would be like to jump outside the frame that caged me inside. Ho immaginato come sarebbe stato saltare fuori dall'inquadratura che mi ha ingabbiato dentro. That's the voice that plays like a tape or rewind. 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 Questa voce è il suono del nastro per riavvolgere. Riavvolgere. It's not empathy, it's not sympathy, it's more of first intrinsic and integral self-reflection. Non è empatia, non è simpatia, è più una forza intrinseca, è una sana autoriflessione. Jump. Salta. Today I looked up how long it would take to jump. Oggi ho cercato di capire quanto tempo ci volesse per annegare. Do you first hold your breath? Trattieni, respiro. 